welcome to John the Wireless Guy. Today we have the top five questions to ask prospective wireless companies before switching. So number one, in no particular order, can I keep my number? Now typically the answer would be, well, yeah, of course. Companies have been porting numbers and allowing porting in for, for years. That's been around for a while. Yes. However, you do need to have your account number and your PIN, or some companies now are using a transfer PIN in order to do that. And I've witnessed countless times customers coming back to us, letting us know that when they've switched to other companies, uh, they didn't exactly handle it the best way, and so they lost their number. It shouldn't happen. It can, though. Um, so definitely you want to know your account number and your PIN or transfer PIN in order to port your number over. Uh, number two. Do you have an unlimited plan that is truly unlimited? So in terms of unlimited plans, there's quite a few of them each prospective wireless company has. So there may be some that have a certain amount before that data throttles, um, or it could be a truly unlimited plan. So you wanna find out by asking questions what the best one is going to be for you. Now, when you look at averages with unlimited data, the average person probably uses around 20 gigs. Now, your data obviously is gonna be anything you're doing that's not on Wi-Fi. Your music, your movies, your GPS, your email, texting photos and videos. Uh, any of your social media, that all uses data. So anytime you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you're using that data. A lot of folks stream. Um, they stream their podcast or they listen to their music um, through different venues, you know, like Spotify or Apple Music or iHeartRadio or Pandora, many different things like that, or even YouTube music you can do. So you want to make sure, first by looking at how much data you actually use, because it is individual, it's not family, so each person would have their own link to data. So now while most companies will have you all on the same plan with Unlimited, you can choose which Unlimited plan works for each one of you or in your family which works for you. Number three, do you have any discounts? An auto pay discount. If I do auto pay um, from a card, will I get a discount? Now it is important to ask, will credit card be applicable to this? Can I use my credit card and kind of get double points in the credit card and my discount through my wireless provider? So ask, is it debit checking or can I also have a credit card? Um, what about discounts in terms of employment, military, nurse, teacher, student, first responders or EMT and police? Are there any discounts for those? So don't, don't be afraid to ask those questions because you want to know. You want to get the most bang for your buck, if you will. Number four, how will my first bill look? Are there any activation fees I need to know about? Um, number five, how long before any promotions kick in? It can take a little bit, especially if there involves trade-ins for those trade-ins to get into the company before they will give you your promotion. Also, if there's any kind of discounts that offer when you switch from one provider to another, and maybe they're giving a gift card of some sort, ask how long the expected um, time is to be waiting for those promotions. Now, let's have a bonus round. If you're a business owner, a little bit different for business owners. So with a business, first of all, if I have a business, should I do a consumer account or a business account? What's the difference? Well, now typically with business accounts, you're going to get discounts. If you have a certain amount of lines, you may get discounts on upgrades in terms of you don't have to pay the upgrade fees. You may not have to pay any activation fees for any new lines you're activating. There could be a limit though as to how many lines you have on that account. And you also wanna make sure if there's an auto pay discount, if there's a military discount. So all the subsequent ones we talked about still bring those up. Is it truly unlimited? How much data do I use? Well, let's see, I use X amount. So really I could probably, you know, do this plan. I don't necessarily need the truly unlimited, but if I had up to 50 gigs unthrottled, I'd probably be good with that. So in terms of businesses, if you have a uh, articles of incorporation that unlocks business discounts and then your promotions are going to be a little bit different as well. So all the things we just went over, if you're a business owner, you're going to ask those as well. 
But in terms of should I do a business account or a consumer account, obviously that's up to you. Consult your accountant for that as far as tax advantages. But yes, there is more discounts when you set it up as a business owner. But also ask how many lines do I need to have in order to unlock those discounts. Um, typically, you get a bigger credit limit when you have a business account as well. So maybe you're starting out and there's just two lines and you're like, well, I don't need a business account. Now, yes, you can always switch from consumer to business. It is a little bit of a process, but it can be done. So yes, you can do that. Maybe you end up having some employees and you're giving them phones. Maybe you do a stipend where out of the company you give them X amount of dollars to have their own uh, phone and plan. But oftentimes if you bring them on board to your plan, it's going to end up being cheaper for you as the business owner. So I would love to hear a feedback on this. What other questions do you think we should ask when we're considering switching it to another carrier? Um, what have been some experience that you have had personally in dealing with that situation? And as always, like, share, subscribe, and make it a great day.